In today's video, I'll show you all the steps you can take to qualify for a future MetaMask airdrop. The MetaMask airdrop is easily one of the most anticipated airdrops in crypto, simply because it's one of the most used applications, one of the highest revenue applications in crypto, and almost anyone who has done anything on the Ethereum network has used MetaMask at some point. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi, although I'll talk about several cryptocurrencies in this video, it's not a suggestion that you do or do not buy any of them. This is simply for educational purposes. Now, let's get into it. First things first, to make this video, I'll be referencing an airdrop checklist worksheet that I created on my Substack. This actually has 11 airdrop checklists for various different potential future airdrops, and we'll be using the MetaMask one for this, but if you want to follow along, do these on your own, strongly recommend going here, link down in the description. All right, so MetaMask is the most used web wallet built by a company known as Consensus. And I predict that simply having the wallet probably won't be enough because pretty much everyone who's used Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain or Polygon or most networks has used MetaMask at some point. However, MetaMask also has a portfolio website, portfolio.metamask.io, and if you connect your wallet to it, then you can perform a number of actions on here. I think this is far more likely to qualify you for the airdrop. So today we'll be talking about some things that you can do on this MetaMask portfolio website. And again, you can reference these on the checklist. So first thing I would do, and for a while this was really the only thing you could do, is actually to swap using MetaMask. So you can do this on Ethereum, Optimism, BNB, Chain, Polygon, Arbitrum, and Avalanche. To be safe, I would probably do this on a few networks, right? Do it in the same wall on a few networks, that doesn't hurt to increase your chance. And just make a few swaps between different cryptos here and swap them back and forth over an extended period of time because usually when these projects do airdrops, they look for people who have used it consistently to try to weed out people who aren't really using it and they're just trying to farm the airdrop. Uh, another thing to know is sometimes they do have a limit for the amount you can swap. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to be swapping thousands of dollars, but sometimes, for example, people will only use 10 cents, 50 cents, and that might not qualify you for the airdrop. So I would do the swap, that's the first thing. Second thing is I would use the MetaMask Bridge. If we go to the portfolio app, and there's this bridge button over on the left, and this lets you bridge between Ethereum, Optimism, BNB, the same chains we talked about before, and you can bridge a whole number of tokens. So likewise, I would use this bridge a few times just to bridge between networks. Uh, again, just the more activities you can take using MetaMask applications with your wallet, the better chance there will be that they'll decide that your wallet is someone that they want to give their governance token to. Next thing would be to stake through MetaMask. There's also a stake section. So this one is probably one of the more straightforward airdrop guides I'll make simply because most of the things are in this app. We'll talk about a few other things you can do, but staking providers through Lido and Rocket Pool, but doing this via the MetaMask interface. If you were gonna stake a little bit of ETH anyways, it doesn't hurt to do it through here. Now it's important to note that once you stake ETH until there's the Shanghai upgrade, you won't actually be able to unstake it right away. However, you should get a liquid staking token that you can sell, but sometimes at a discount. Uh, so then the next thing that you can do is you can actually buy crypto through MetaMask. So a lot of guides that I've seen on how to qualify for this airdrop actually leave this one out. But I think this is probably pretty important because since MetaMask is one of the most used wallets, I would say probably the most used wallet, just if I had to guess, and it's especially used among people who are doing things on chain for the first time, like buying NFTs, I think MetaMask probably, or rather Consensus, the company that makes MetaMask, probably wants to start to develop a lot of users in the fiat on-ramps and off-ramps. So because of that, I would definitely use this buy section over here. Next time that I wanna put some money into crypto, I'll probably do it directly into my MetaMask through this. And to me, this avoids the use of using an exchange in the first place. Final thing that you can do to qualify for this airdrop, and again, this is just a guess, but you can donate via Gitcoin, and Gitcoin and Consensus historically have an extremely close relationship. And you know, maybe you wanna support the crypto ecosystem anyways. So what I would do is I would go here and find a project that you want to support and 
maybe donate a small amount of money. And, and I know that not everyone can afford to donate money. If that's the case, then do the other things on this list. I think that those, if there's an airdrop, will probably set you up pretty well. But if you find a project you like, then I don't think it will hurt your chances to donate via Gitcoin. And there have been airdrops in the past that looked at Gitcoin donations as a criteria because it's considered to show that you support the Ethereum ecosystem. And again, if you want to follow along, then I'll link the airdrop checklist down below. If you want more airdrop videos, I've linked a few down in the description. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.